Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper. We're going to get right into it. 133 favorite artists. This is number 118, as you can see by the thumbnail. I love countdowns. I love rankings. And that's why I'm doing this. And if you're watching, I appreciate it. So what's the criteria? I've got it below. But basically, I made playlists for all of these 133 favorite artists. And I played them over and over. I worked on this project for a year. And I just ranked these playlists. Okay, I like this one a little better, this one not so, you know. And uh, and then I consider the live experience, and I also consider whether or not I read articles and that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's great. I, I'm, I really like these 133 people. And coming in at number 118 is a five-man band that's a really good example of indie rock. And they formed in, I'm not really sure, probably around 2000, late 90s, early 00s. But this is a band from Louisville, Kentucky. We're talking about My Morning Jacket. So one thing I always let you guys know is if I've seen the band in concert and with My Morning Jacket, Yes, I have. In 2015, I saw the Waterfalls or Waterfalls 2 tour or something of that nature. And before that, I saw Jim James in 2009 in the Monsters of Folk uh, supergroup with Connor Oberst and M. Ward. So I've seen Jim James two times. And yeah, great. Uh, the concert was good, except the bass was way too loud. I wasn't very happy with the sound mix, but when they did a acoustic set in the middle, it's fantastic. So some of the albums that I have owned, which I don't have with me right now, are Z. Uh, I think these might be down at the record store. Z, It Still Moves, and Circuital in a digipack. So what I do have with me um, is I have a DVD of theirs, uh, Oconus, Okonos, Okonos. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's uh, the live concert that was uh, released on DVD as well. So this is really cool. This is, um, let's see if I can get that for you. But this is just the jacket. I've got the DVD and a binder. It's time for me to watch this again. It's uh, pretty cool. I've seen it a couple times. And then I have something kind of unusual. I have a bootleg. Yeah, I have a bootleg that uh, a friend of mine burned this for me. This is, um, well, I don't have my glasses, so I cannot read it, but it's, um, it's a double disc, and it's just got every great song you can imagine on it. And it's really well recorded. So yeah, it's called, um, oh, here we go. Red Rocks Amphitheater 2015. So this is the same tour that I saw. So yeah, really cool. Uh, August of uh, 2015 in Colorado. So that's what I got. Why do I like, like these guys? Well, Jim James' voice is great. Uh, I love their melodicism. They did a performance on, I'm trying to remember the TV show that they did this on. It was just, it's just fantastic. It was, uh, you know, Colbert or some show. I think it was Stephen Colbert's show. But it's just great. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and, and, and everyone's a good musician in the band. So some of my favorite songs are, Steam Engine, Wordless Chorus. Um, I like uh, Golden. Let me pull up this uh, list real quick, and we'll we'll close with that. Uh, yeah, it's just. Uh, let me. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared for this, but take just a second here. Um, the song that I read. Man, have you ever noticed like everything's slow when you're uh, with friends or recording? So anyway, I don't want to hold you guys up. Oh, off the record. And then uh, One Big Holiday. Um, 
I'm Amazed is good. And, you know, I like Highly Suspicious. I know a lot of people don't like that song. But I'm going to put a playlist, a uh, link to a playlist below. And you can play my 80-minute playlist. And I appreciate it very much. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, Buen Dia. If you want to support me, I've got the Patreon link before uh, uh, down below. And you can... Um, Hit the like or subscribe, bells, notifications, all that really helps. Take care.